I remember that time there was a um, arm robbery. Okay. Was at was at its peak. Mm. When I got to that ministry, uh, filling stations, forest bureaus okay. were closing at five six o'clock. After Is Zebula? Not Zebula. Okay, Ghana. Ghana. Okay. Ghana. Okay. Not Zebula. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. That was the time Atai and Co had terrorized the country mm. and whatnot. Arm robbery, all, all highways all right. and banks and whatnot. So uh, means put me there. You're right. I remember when I got the first cabinet meeting, he gave me a petition. Mm -hmm. 3,000 Ghanaians in the diaspora had written to the president, urging him to try to arrest armed robbery in the country. Okay. So he gave it back to me. Then immediately we formed what is now called Operation Calm Life. Mm -hmm. That and the IGP was one Paul Quay. So IGP was Paul Quay, then a good friend of mine, General Smith, All right. a retired General Smith, was the Minister for Defense. Okay. So we came together with Bevolati. Mm -hmm. As national security coordinator, then we put in place Operation Calm Life. Okay. We created tents and whatnot, mm -hmm. created more police stations here and there. Yeah. And that is how we mitigated mm -hmm. the incidents of armed robbery in the country. Okay. Now, by the time I was living after one year, for every rules, um, feeling state could work up to eight or nine and mm -hmm. ten and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. That's a legacy. Okay. Number two, I remember we used to have Meet the Press. You remember? Yeah. Meet the Press, meet the Minister of Public Information. Weekly. Yeah, weekly. Then I went there. And then the human rights, mm. I told the police that, look, as a lawyer, I know everybody has a right to defend himself and his property. Mm. So if you go somewhere and they threaten, armed robbers threaten you, your life is in danger. You, have, you can protect your life by killing somebody. Okay. The law allows you to do that. Yeah. Well, I come and see yeah. self-defense of your property or your life. Yeah. Then human rights activists, hey, I focus on shoot to kill. Mm. Shoot to kill. That, I said that they should shoot armed robbers and kill them. So I am I'm, I'm against human rights and whatnot. They should arrest them. They shouldn't kill them and whatnot. So at the mid the press, I said, look, you human rights or human activists, you call yourselves human activists. <laughs> I said the policemen and then the soldiers are, are blood like you and me. Yeah. They have families like you and me. Yeah, so if there's a distress call in the house at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and they, are going, they don't even know where the armed robbers are hiding, they go there and they open fire on them. What do you want them to do? They should, I said they should reply with fire and kill them. And you say that they should. I said, okay, you don't worry. When there's a distress call, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. anywhere, I'll bring you human rights and put you in the pickup <laughs> with the police. And then when you are getting near the scene, raise a white handkerchief and say, oh, I'm, we have come to arrest you. We don't want to kill you. And see whether you go back home. Finished. <laughs> they never took me on any day again. <laughs> about human rights. They never talked about it. Look at what you are doing. Yeah. There are vagaries in this. Every profession, yeah. I mean, has its challenges. Yeah. But you are, you are a human being like me. Yeah. You think that the soldier man wants to go and die and leave his wife and no, children? No. The policeman wants to go and die. No. An armed robber. Yeah. What right does he have? Tell me. What right? You didn't meet him on the street. You didn't meet him daytime or on the street or in the public place. Mm. 2 a.m. They come and you blocks and want to break open your door. They rape your wife in your presence or your daughter. I didn't say, yeah, go and ca catch them and kill them. Yeah. If you arrest them, fine. But I say, if your life is threatened, yeah. you have to fight back. Okay. The law allows you. Mm -hmm. To the extent you can disarm him and the rest of them. Okay. In the process, if the fellow dies, you, are, you, you, you look, you know, the law is also there. Self-defense. Right. Defending your property. Defending your life. Mm -hmm. Yes.